yeah so excuse the same outfit um same cap t-shirt and whatnot because yes i admit i actually shot this on the same time on the same day actually so yeah this is another product by armageddon okay i'm so excited for this one because this is something really 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 special so in case you guys didn't know live Frog distribution malaysia is the one that distribute um products such as um sonic ear alcatraz armageddon in malaysia so again thank you so much live Frog distribution malaysia for sending this product for me to review so you guys uh, want to know what this product is all about continue watching this video as per usual guys grab your snacks grab your drink Let's go! Hello guys, welcome back to Hey It's Fear YouTube channel. My name is Fear and you guys are watching Tech and Trend. Okay guys, so as per usual, if you guys haven't yet subscribed to HSV YouTube channel, especially those who are watching now, what are you guys waiting for? Please do consider subscribing to us, especially if you guys are into tech-related content, if you guys are into unboxing series, setup series, review series, this is the right channel for you guys. I need to do that, right? Ta-da! Okay guys, so what I have over here is actually a keyboard, a gaming keyboard. It's been a while guys on this channel. I know, it's been quite some time actually. I think the last keyboard video was... I don't even remember, but it was very long ago. I think it was a 4F61 keyboard, whatever. Um, so this one I have is the MKA1C Neo Sykes Swift 61 keys mechanical gaming keyboard by Armageddon, as you guys can see over there. Ooh, there's actually a nice visual, guys. Yup, 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 yup. Okay, um, so this is officially my first ever. Okay. So so as you guys did, if you guys didn't know, you guys can actually check out um the the last videos that I did on this channel a few years ago, I actually did few Armageddon keyboard on this channel. One mechanical keyboard, and I think one is one or two membrane keyboard. I don't remember, but yeah, you guys can go watch it. Um, thank you so much, Leapfrog um, Distribution, for sending this to me. If you guys haven't yet watched the reviews of the two product, the other two products that um, Leapfrog Distribution Malaysia actually sent me, you guys can watch um, those videos um, in my YouTube channel. Um, two videos before this one, I think, and also I will leave the link in the cut up here. Okay, okay. So let's go through to the box first in the camera over here. As you guys can see, that is the front of the box with the Armageddon logo, MKA One C Neo Sykes Swift sixty one mechanical gaming keyboard, sixty one keys mechanical gaming keyboard. Okay. Um, it also stated there is a linear mechanical switch, the red switch. I think this is the automo switch. Nice. Okay. It's not the clicky clicky blue switch, but instead it's a linear mechanical switch. No bump, no click. Nice. Okay. It also have a multicolor backlight. Okay. Um, there's some details up here, and then the branding of the product name, and also same on this side. And this side is just um another few branding messaging. Okay. Um, let me read. The specifications of this keyboard so it's a plug and play no driver required nice five zone multicolor led backlight cool not so much um options kevlatec keycap okay kevlatec sorry kevlatec keypads with lifetime fate proof warranty okay so it's using a kevlatec i think it's supposed to be keycap um so kevlatec keycap is usually the normal the standard mechanical keycap that people use i think you can find in a different different product um from I think you can find in some other different uh, mechanical, uh, budget mechanical gaming keyboard, they actually use the same um, keycap, okay, Kevlatec. Lifespan up to 20 million keystrokes, nice. 21 anti-ghosting keys, 11 different backlight EFX preset, adjustable brightness, aight. Oh, 5 zone multicolor LED backlight, so you have 5 zone backlight, but you have 11 different backlight effects, okay. Gaming mode, you can actually press FN plus window to disable window keys, okay, that's about it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's unbox this. I am so excited, guys. It's been a while since I do a keyboard video. The Wrath! Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, hmm. Okay, first of all, you will get this bag um, of uh, switch. 
some extra switch and also a keycap puller and a switch puller. In case you guys are wondering what is hot swappable, hot swappable meaning is that you guys can actually change the switch. So every mechanical keyboard, right, there is like a different different type of switch inside the um, keys, right? So that is what makes it a mechanical keyboard. And different type of switch give different type of filler. So like this one, we have the red switch um, type, which is it's a it's a non-clicky. What 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 is it? What what is it just now? No bump, no click. Okay, it's a linear type of um, switch. There are like three different type of switches. I'm not mistaken. Tactile, linear, and clicky. If I'm not wrong, um, you guys can actually Google and find out lah. Okay. So yeah. Okay. There are several types of um, mechanical switch actually. There are silent type, silent keys. There are tactile keys. There are uh, there are linear keys. So every different type of keys actually give a different feel to it and it really depends on the person some people like it to be more clicky they will go for the more tactile kind of switch but some people who might not want that much of sound and travel time of clickiness they will go for this kind of linear um, keys lah okay so a good thing to know there is hot swappable so you guys always have the option to change the keys in the future maybe you want to change to a different um, switch that is more um, silent you guys can actually do that okay so Let's take out the keyboard and then we have a manual over here. Okay, so the manual actually have all the layouts and all the function keys and whatnot. Um, three level brightness adjustment. Okay. And it we have all of these um, QR codes and details at the back lah. Okay, so that is that. Nothing else in the box. So I'm just gonna put the box to the side first. Okay, the star of the show. Let's go. Let's go. Wait. Okay. Let me show you in the B camera over here. So that's how the keyboard actually look like. This is actually a 61 keys layout keyboard. I hope you guys can see. Um, so on the side, there is nothing much. There is a bit of um, ele elevation to the keyboard. So there is no um, elevation adjustment, but the keyboard itself is good. I mean, if you ask me the, the shape of it, um, the key is actually a bit too bumped, um, the positioning of it. But yeah, and then this is the top part. And this is the back part and the bottom part. Okay, there is some grips over there as well. The cable that it used is just a normal USB cable, non-braided, but it's a normal um, USB cable over there. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Build quality, I must say, this actually, um, it's plastic throughout the build of the keyboard. So I'm not sure how much it will help um, in the sense of making the keyboard tacky. This, this, nowadays, people like to describe keyboard like that. Um, but yeah, so first impression when I look at it just now, I'm not gonna lie, it does look like a normal keyboard, like a, a bit on a cheaper side look of a mechanical keyboard. But after holding it and lifting it out, actually not bad, okay? This, this have some weight and have to it. Okay, so the time that we have been waiting for, of course, the typing test. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. So as you guys can hear, this is definitely a mechanical switch inside here. Let me open it up. Yup, as you guys can see, the red tactile switch over there. The typing text actually feels um, like a mechanical keyboard, the linear switch, which is the red switch. Um, not so loud, I must say. But of course, there is a bit of, not a bit, like, there's a lot of rattle in the space bar, shift, and also um, the delete button. But actually, overall, if you're not really like um, pro keeps or pro keyboard, a mechanical keyboard user i think this is actually just fine it feels just nice it feels just right the keyboard and whatnot the switch also all feels very very nice as well okay uh, in terms of the functionality of the keys and whatnot let me plug it in into my laptop and i'll share with you guys how you guys can actually change the um, light setting the brightness of the led backlight and whatnot okay let's go okay guys so as you guys can see i already plugged it in in my um, laptop so yeah, it will straight away plug and play. It work as per. Um, let's see if we can adjust the light over here. So if I press this one, it will actually change a different um, LED effect. So one, and then we have two. Okay, nice. Three, uh, four, five, six, seven, and then 
oh eight nine ten eleven and then the static one okay so we can actually turn down the brightness by pressing function keys and these keys so it will turn down until it will eventually turn off so you guys can press it again and press this key to turn it back on and i do believe this feature is actually for the speed of the um light effect so as example let's go for this one so maybe let's go for this one right so let's say if i press here it will move very fast as you can see yep but then if i slow down it will move slower yep hmm what do you guys think i think it looks cool not gonna lie okay okay so based on the screenshot that you guys see here okay this is actually an official armageddon um, shopee page armageddon.os so this keyboard armageddon mka1c new led backlight mechanical gaming keyboard 61k hot swappable is actually going to cost you rm 99 ringgit yes guys meaning this keyboard is actually less than rm 100 ringgit if you guys want to convert it to us dollar around less than 25 us dollar less than 100 ringgit hot swappable my budget gamers community this is definitely one of the product for you guys out there comparing this to to the cheapest keyboard mechanical keyboard that i did a review on few months ago a lot of months ago i must say honestly speaking that this keyboard actually have that how am I going to put this? Huh? Okay, this kind of like um, arrangement of the keyboard, right? With the lighting button here and whatnot. Only membrane keyboards actually do this kind of thing. So like if you guys watch most of my membrane keyboards review on this channel, the layout and the setup is, is actually almost the same where it, it have a light key over there. Usually this kind of mechanical keyboard, they will have a different way and function on how to change the light. I do understand the reason why Armageddon designed it this way because it is actually foolproof. It's very easy to use. You guys want to change the light, just press on the light um, button. If you guys want to change the speed or the, the, the brightness, just few clicks, no drive, plug and play, no customizable software or whatnot. Very, very straightforward and simple. And I also believe um, this is not RGB and none of the um, part in this, the Shopee page says that this is RGB. It's clearly stated that it's a multi-color backlight, which is good, okay? Some keyboard claim that they have RGB. They're not. They only have multi-color backlight, but this one straight away says they have a multi-color backlight, which is very, very clear and straightforward. And um, if you guys also go into their Shopee page, there are actually two different colors for this keyboard, which is the black one, which I have over here, and also the white one. And you have also three different option of switches, which are the tactile switch, the brown switch, mechanical switches, the clicky one, which is the blue mechanical switch, and also the one that I have here, which is the linear mechanical switch, the red switch. And for the switch type, I do believe they are actually using um, Automo switch, or maybe I'm wrong, I'm not sure. It doesn't mention here um, in the description, so um, anyone knows, maybe you can leave in the comment section down below. So yes, guys, what do you guys think? Um, honestly speaking, um, my first impression, when I took it out just now, I'm not going to lie, I have that impression saying that, um, okay, this keyboard actually looks a bit on a cheaper side, okay? Um, and honestly speaking, this kind of layout and whatnot, like I said just now, it's very similar to all those membrane keyboards that I've done reviews on this channel before, uh, which means that it suits um, those style of um, feeling, of... Um, keys and whatnot right but this one is actually a mechanical keyboard so interesting but for 99 ringgit i can say maybe the cable can be braided so it will look a bit more expensive but um quality build wise despite it was actually built by whole plastic it's actually quite hefty i must say it has some weight to it and um the key caps okay kevlar tech key cap is actually feels nice Okay, it feels nice um, while typing. And of course, the linear switch, as you guys can hear. Mm -mm. So for me, the simplest way um, to say why um, Armageddon decided to design this um, MKA1C Neo Sack Swift this way is because they want to make it foolproof, meaning everyone can use this keyboard, no need to be a gamer or whatnot. Um, just plug and play, no drive, no, no customizable software, nothing. Everything was on board. When you come in, just customize it on the keyboard itself and you guys are good to go comes with mechanical switch so for all that deal for less than 100 ringgit 
I must say this is actually one of the best option for my budget communities out there. Where are you guys? This is definitely one of the option for your desk and gaming setup. If not gaming, maybe for your desk office setup also, this would be the perfect choice for you guys. Okay guys, so what do you guys think about this Armageddon MKA 1C Neo Sexwift mechanical keyboard guys? Um if you guys have any thoughts, comment, concern or question, do leave it in the comment section down below. I would like to know. Um, maybe if you guys want me to follow up on after a few months of using this, um, uh, you guys can ask in the comments so I can let you guys know. I will give this to one of my editor definitely and he or she will be using this um, a lot and then throughout the months I will see how the condition is going to be like. Okay, either the wear and tear is good or not, is there going to be any ghosting issue or not. We'll see uh, as the time goes by. If you guys who are watching want to get one of these MKA 1C Neo Sexwift mechanical keyboard, I'll be leaving the link to the official Shopee page of Armageddon.os with this product, specific product, in the description box down below. So if you guys want to buy it, go check it out, okay? So yes, guys, that's about it for this video. Thank you so much, you guys, who have watched this video till the end. To those who haven't yet subscribed to this channel, especially you, who is watching this video, please do consider subscribing to his YouTube channel. Share it with your friends, share it with your family members, share it with your boss, share it with your colleagues, whoever, um, if you think this video bring benefits to the others as well. Okay, if you guys want to get one of these, again, link in the description box down below. Again, shout out to the sponsor of this video, Leapfrog Distribution Malaysia. Thank you so much for sending me this product. And thank you also Armageddon for giving me the opportunity to review this awesome, cheap, epic gaming keyboard. So I'll see you guys in the next video definitely. And like I've always said guys, remember to always do great, be great and stay great. Hey Sphere, walking off.